happy morning and welcome to Adventist Med Facebook Live. It's another day to praise the Lord. Thank God it's Friday. Kamusta po kayong lahat dyan? Hopefully, kayo po ay nakasubaybay na at huwag niyo pong kakalimutan i-share ang live stream na ito dahil we have another interesting topic. Okay, let me introduce to you our speaker for today. He is a fellow of the Philippine Dermatological Society and an international fellow of the American Academy of Dermatology. And you know what? He is also the assistant medical director of the Bello Medical Group, none other than Dr. Philip Bunyan. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Ayan. Ay, Ang lady. topic natin ngayon, okay. Dok, talagang very essential. Yeah. Kasi, mm. Mm. Because uh, of what we're undergoing. Yes. You know? Talagang ang skin natin, hindi pa rin dapat mapabayaan kahit na may pandemya. Yes. Oh. Okay. Before we move forward with this very exciting topic, let's pause for a moment to pray. Almighty God, our Father in Heaven, thank you for this wonderful day you have given us to learn once more how to take care of ourselves. Please be with us, especially our viewers, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. Okay. Okay. So, lady, my topic today would be your skin during the COVID-19. Yes. No? Okay. So, uh, the it's not only about beauty, actually, mm -hmm. but uh, I'd like to give the viewers what are the conditions mm -hmm. we see now related to the personal protective equipment yes. okay the constant hand washing mm -hmm. goggles and all and then of course we will touch also on the what are the skin manifestations mm -hmm. we see yes. in covid positive patients so this is not only for those na nasa bahay if you have uh friends relatives loved ones who are frontliners i think yes. you should really share this topic kasi sila itong mga nasa loob ng ppe oh. na most likely makaka experience nito okay and mm. then we'll go to of course we're under quarantine mm -hmm. and we're under a lot of stress lately True. and the skin is also affected by stress oh, no? dog, and then with the stress uh, a lot of skin conditions would flare up like acne, psoriasis, atopic dermatitis. Mm -hmm. So that would be uh, uh, our last topic for the morning. Wonderful. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, good. Please don't forget to share this live stream and let your friends and relatives and loved ones know about this topic, Skin During Pandemic by Dr. Philip Bunyag. Okay, so, ne so first... The, we touch on the skin conditions okay. related to PPE mm -hmm. and personal hygiene measures. No? As we all know, uh, during this time, everyone is asked to wear masks, mm -hmm. even those who are not frontliners. Oh. So we have to wear masks and we have to wash our hands constantly, use uh, sanitizers, Alcohol. alcohols, and all of this mm -hmm. will actually have an effect on our skin. No? Yes. So, uh, the one would be the frequent hand washing because mm -hmm. frequent hand washing would actually uh, remove the prote natural protection of our skin. Yes. No? And the soap is harsh also our ph the ph of our skin is acidic mm -hmm. and most soaps would be alkaline mm -hmm. and of course the alcohol and the alcohol based uh, hand sanitizers will actually have an effect on our skin yes it destroys the natural barrier mm -hmm. of the skin and once the natural barrier of the skin is destroyed then a lot of problems can come in like mm -hmm. you have irritation contact dermatitis yes. and we're seeing a lot of uh, mm -hmm. uh, no, no, of cases lately not only from the frontliners yes. but uh, even from the common from the people in general no you mentioned doc yung acne yeah. may, may nabanggit meron nga akong nakita sa facebook ngayon they they coined a term mask me yes <laughs> yes because the pressure of the oh. mask will actually aggravate the uh, acne condition, no? especially oh. 
for patients that who usually have acne, mm -hmm. the pressure, the moisture, and then the white heads can get, you know, pressed mm -hmm. on by the mask and it becomes big, so they have they flare up. Oh. And usually it would be it's on the mask here. area. For goggles, it would be here, they, they, they get uh, redness here, and which can lead actually to the destruction already of the tissues underneath. Mm. No? Some can even have ulcerations. Wow. No? And then, of course, behind the ears, because of the mask loops, no? so the friction will also actually uh, be the pro the root cause of the problem here mm -hmm. no? but these things actually may be avoided okay mm -hmm. so uh next slide would be wearing of masks and goggles mm -hmm. okay so here as i've said uh this can the moisture and the pressure can actually uh be the root cause of the problem mm -hmm. no and the most commonly affected areas would be the bridge of the nose because we have bony prominence here yes. and our skin here is thin with very little tissue underlying it and then the pressure of the mask plus fr the friction and the moisture will actually uh, cause redness mm -hmm. and sometimes the redness becomes so bad that uh, the underlying tissues are already damaged no? mm -hmm. and in the extreme case they get ul ulcerations on the area no? but these are more for those who are the frontliners oh, no? yes. who are actually wearing these things uh, more than eight hours yes. continuously because ideally if we only can do it every four hours you have to relieve the pressure mm -hmm. and wash and pat dry mm -hmm. but you can't usually do that if you are in the front line no? yes and uh, you you just have to bury it in, no? mm -hmm. so those are the things that needs to be actually uh remembered and before you wear your your goggles or your, you have to wash your face yes. gently mm. no? and then you can put some moisturizer an hour before okay uh, usually these are the creams with dimeticon no so that you can have up some protection mm -hmm. and then you let it dry before you put on your mask and your goggles all no? right and then for the hands don't really scrub it but you only have you wash well who is about 20 seconds yes. washing but it should be rubbing but not scrubbing oh you know? okay rub not scrub, not scrub. so gently Gen again. yeah yeah okay oh, nga naman, hindi naman. Hindi naman yung, yes. yeah and then of course you dry it by patting it dry with a mm. paper towel mm -hmm. or or with a cotton soft cotton cloth mm -hmm. patting it dry is better than those air dryers that you see because those can actually aerosolize if you have virus if you have viruses on your hands so that safer would be really to pat it dry okay and then you can put moisturizers okay and then let the moisturizer seep in for about mm -hmm. one to two minutes before you put on your gloves okay so th that will more at least protect you from all the possible things that can happen okay let us know how you are taking your skin during this pandemic don't forget do not scrub just rub okay and then pat it dry kahit hindi na yung yung sa air dryer yeah better to mm -hmm. really do it with the pat with paper towel yes. that you throw after no and it's safer okay it's more hygienic actually. comment comment in the comment section below kung paano niyo po inaalagaan ng inyong skin 
during this pandemic and sino-sino po ba sa inyo ang nagkaroon ng mask ni or kung ano-ano pa ulceration or mga na-experience niyo comment it and uh, we'll try to read it for you later on malay nyo may tanong din po kayo it's the best time dahil kasama natin si Dr. Philip Gunyag Doc, let me greet your viewers today okay, okay. okay nandito si Sir Jun Botabara si Ma'am Arlene Corpus Happy morning din kay Ma'am Weng Mata Selma, Marlon Fernando, Mercy Valdez Guarin, and Sir Charlie Acevedo. Wow, worth watching. Thanks for sharing this topic. Happy morning, Dr. Philip Bunyag and Hi. Lady. Good morning. <laughs> and another thing that we use nowadays would be the hazmas, mm -hmm. no? yeah, like the protective clothing. Mm -hmm. There, of course, the heat and we're a tropical country mm -hmm. and sweat can come in and it, you can have acne at the back yes. you know and folliculitis mm -hmm. and things like that no so those are the things that can happen so it's better that of course take a shower pat dry and then but don't put too much of uh, moisturizers on the body because oh. it can actually become worse you know, so it's better that you just take a quick shower, pat dry, mm -hmm. and wear loose clothes, no, mm. uh, comfortable clothes underneath, yes. you know, so that uh, your sweat will not be, uh, your skin will not be soaked in sweat, mm -hmm. and then of course bacteria can come in, mm -hmm. so you have a lot of problems after, no, wow. like in this slide, in the slide mm -hmm. you. You can see that at the back of the person, uh, acneform eruptions have uh, appeared. No? Yes. And uh, that should be seen also by a dermatologist mm -hmm. so that we can actually give you some uh, advice. Yes. No? Okay. So, oh, and then next, and may then, ganun sa likod. of course, we have the pressure injury, as I was saying telling you earlier mm -hmm. usually here on the bridge of the nose where the masks is and then the upper cheek area mm -hmm. these are the uh, areas no you have the reactive erythema that we call no that's the first stage na mumula may pressure no but you yeah okay but when it's not yet it's very mild in 20 in to 30 minutes it's gone mm. but for if you go to the level two then it becomes persistent mm -hmm. your redness no and it's painful and then don't rub it more because you're damaging more the uh, structures underneath no wow. and then we go to you, the level three would you have break of the skin mm -hmm. and then the worst would be ulcerations wow. no so here uh, again, the skin care see, uh, would be very, very important no? for you to avoid all these problems while on personal protective equipment. Mm -hmm. no? So even at home, before leaving for work, or one to two hours, you wash your face and hands well, dry thoroughly, apply mm -hmm. moisturizers, no? and then... Uh, at work, before donning the personal protective equipment, mm -hmm. you can apply the skin barrier that I was telling you on your face and then let it seep through for about a minute to two mm -hmm. before you put on your mask. No? So those are the things that you may be able to, uh, to do. No? Mm -hmm. And another thing that's very important for the mask and goggles is especially for the N95 one. Mm -hmm. no? It's not the tighter it is, the better. You know, wow. it should be fit tested, okay. meaning it's well fit, but it's not really too tight mm -hmm. because that's the one that's really impinging on your skin mm -hmm. if it's too tight already. Mm -hmm. no? So, must prone to get the uh, problem. Yes. Whereas you don't add naman to the protection because you, we all wear this to protect ourselves yes. and 
to protect also the people around us. No? Mm -hmm. But it does not increase the protection level. No? So it's it should be fit tested but not too tight. Yun. You know? All right. So lahat po tayo ngayon naka-wear ng mask. I hope that uh, you are all having a nice mask na tested or fit at least tested, fit sa inyo. You know, well, well fitted yes. but not too tight. Mm -hmm. you know? the, the idea here is to be to cover your nose yes and until you're you know because these are the way the virus can actually get out yes. and be passed to mm -hmm. others and virus that we if we interact with someone who has it we can have it no so that's why we're and of course don't always touch your face no? and then for the loops of the mask mm -hmm. some people are very uh ingenious that they put the button underneath their yes, cap yes mga ear savers yes and then that's where they put the loops mm -hmm. no so that it does not uh actually rub on the back of the ears Ayun, so thank you so much i remember some of our friends sending ear savers thank you these are all helping our frontliners ano po especially now we know that it's going to help us as well in yes, taking care of yeah. our skin. Okay. Oh, makagamit na nga ng ear And safe. then, yeah. <laughs> And then, of course, uh, if you experience any of these things, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you can do some first aid measures, you know, and observe first. But once it's getting worse, mm -hmm. then you really have to seek the help of a dermatologist mm -hmm. you know either by telemedicine yes or uh some dermatologists mm -hmm. are already going to their clinics mm -hmm. by appointment so that we'll be able to help them that's no? right okay. okay let me greet some more viewers today we have here ma marilyn makasaja good morning daw po and god bless doc Thank Mary you. Car Topasho is also greeting. Hello, Doc. Hi. Heidi Manik Maderazo. Good day, everyone. Sir Rolando Agustin. Good morning din po. Don D. Luz. Good morning, Doc. Uh, from California, Milpitas, USA. Oh, hello. Hi. Amen. Okay, so. Good morning. The U.S. also is having its problem mm. with the COVID-19. Okay. Please don't forget to share this. Uh, marami ang mabibenefit on how they will take care yes. of their skin. Especially, we're going to the next topic, which mm -hmm. is actually the skin manifestations okay. no, of COVID-19 patients. Wow. Okay. And these uh, skin manifestations were not actually given uh, attention no, at the start of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Because usually, the respiratory problem and the other kidney problems and mm -hmm. all were the ones given so much attention. Yes. But in studies in Spain and in in Italy mm -hmm. and the UK and now in the US, they're seeing a lot of skin manifestations mm -hmm. together with the being seen in the COVID-19 patients. Mm -hmm. no? But of course, a lot of things need to be learned, yes. you know, about the skin manifestations of COVID-19. I just want to share this lady, not to scare people are mm -hmm. uh, watching it, but at least we have to be aware yes. that some manifestations, skin manifestations may be part of COVID-19. Yes. Okay. But it doesn't mean to say that you have it, then you have COVID. COVID you know? it, but this is also a way of encouraging everybody to stay safe and yes, healthy. Yes, you know. Plus, you know, we don't course, want this to happen even, to any of us. Even as dermatologists, uh -huh. uh, it's a warning for us yes. that if we see patients complaining of these problems, mm -hmm. we should always have at the back of our minds COVID uh -huh. uh, positive. Mm -hmm. no? so high index of suspicion but mm -hmm. it doesn't mean to say that when we see this you're covid positive all right in fact <laughs> in the some of the case series available it's only being seen in about 20 percent okay of uh, covid positive patients all right no? so that doesn't mean to say that you see it then you're covid positive we no? are very clear with that okay 
on it's about 20%. Yes. Okay. And some of the patients will not have any skin mm -hmm. manifestations at all. Okay. So first is we have to uh, these are the things that we see. So we have the uh, that's the very common ones, no, and most popular, which is it's called the COVID toe. Yeah. You know, it's actually the pernio, no, pseudo pernio. We see this in cold climates, no, mm -hmm. yung redness of the digits, no. Pero lately, they were seeing it also in COVID patients, no? Mm -hmm. And, uh, but the only difference would be uh, it usually occurs with the other symptoms, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, it's more painful and more itchy than the usual chillblain. Mm -hmm. Chillblain yung ano eh, yung... Uh, layman's term, mm -hmm. no, ng pernio, mm -hmm. no. So that's the most uh, actually uh, popular COVID two pang antawag ngayon eh, oh. COVID two, no. But other things that can be seen would be this is the the one I was telling you. It's called the COVID two oh. acral pernio like lesions, mm -hmm. no. It's seen more. Uh, with after the other symptoms appear, mm -hmm. no, and it's usually seen among younger individuals, mm -hmm. no, and as I've said, compared to the usual chillblain, you have other symptoms being uh, felt by the patient, yes. tingling sensation, pain, so itchiness and all, no, mm -hmm. and then. The small vessel vasculitis also, this is what we see also, mm -hmm. you know, uh, oh. okay. And then, of course, another one that we see is libido reticularis, mm -hmm. you know. It's like redness, uh, usually on the legs, no. And uh, it's non-blanching, understand more, and uh, so that we may fear less. Wow, that's okay. beautiful. Thank you so much yeah. po, Doc. Okay. Okay, kamusta po kayo dyan? Marami ba kayong natutunan on how to take care of your skin? And just like what I mentioned a while ago, kung meron kayong mga kaibigan ng mga frontliner, especially mga loved ones niyo po dyan, kapuso, kapamilya, kabarkada, kahit sino pa yan, uh, this live stream will be very helpful to them. So please don't forget to hit the share button and if you have any questions or comments, comment it down below para po may engagement tayo. We will still be able to read your your messages even after the program. Thank okay. you very much, Thank Dr. You, Philip. Thank you and thanks for the opportunity. Until okay. next time. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> I hope that you did enjoy. Okay, yes. Okay. At uh, <laughs> kayo po lahat dyan, maraming salamat. Let me take this opportunity to share with you kung ano po ang mga new normal services na meron tayo dito sa Adventist Med. Of course, we mentioned already we have telemedicine. If you cannot see your doctor and come for consultation na face-to-face, you can register through telemedicine. Ayan, wala na po kayong uh, excuse pa para hindi pa pangalagaan ng inyong katawan. Hindi lang para sa skin, kundi ang iba pang specialista ay available sa ating telemedicine. Pero kung hindi po kayo okay sa telemedicine, pwede naman po ang face-to-face -face consultation. Ayan, you can call. By appointment po muna tayo. Wala pong walk-in for the safety of everyone. Okay, next. Siyempre, binanggit natin kanina, merong mga medicines, mga laboratory procedures. You can have those at your home, or at the comforts of your yes. doorstep. Medicines can be delivered to your doorstep. Andyan ang ating medicine delivery at yung a laboratory or immunization, aba pwede na po yan, home service or drive-thru. Hindi wow. na lang pagkain, okay. hindi na drive-thru. <laughs> Alam nyo po yung mga nire-rehab ng mga patients, pwede na rin may home care, may uh -huh. tele-rehab, or pwede rin pumunta dito sa ating face-to-face -face consultation and rehab. Siyempre, Part ng pagpapa, uh, hindi makakastress sa atin kapag maganda ang ating smile. Yes. <laughs> so, so, our dental, dental services okay. is open already. 
don't forget, wala po munang walk-in, magpa-appointment po tayong lahat. That is for the safety of everybody. Yes. And, hindi natin nabanggit masyado, pero we know already that food has a lot of impact on our skin, on our body. Yes. Diba? Okay. So, choose the healthier food that you can have. Uh, Siyempre, nandiyan ang ating healthy bites for pickup or delivery. Marami po kayo dyan options, mga healthier cookies, immunoboosters ng mga juices, um, meals yeah. na healthier for you. In fact, the finding now for acne, mm -hmm. you know, in fact, diet has been debunked before for acne, mm -hmm. but lately, we're also looking again into foods that are, you know, high meta, high uh, sugar content or sugary food mm -hmm. and fatty foods maybe for some patients, may aggravate acne again. So, we're <laughs> looking into that again. Okay. okay. So. so, watch out for that. We will share with you kung ano ang mga uh, causes and impact of food sa ating skin problems yes. and concerns. Okay. Let's, uh, let me share again other services available for you. Nabanggit ko na yung Healthy Bites Pickup and Delivery. They have Artisan Ubi Cheese Pandesal. Yung Mung Cheese Pandesal. Masarap to. And um, of course, eto pa. Yung mga gusto dyan makakuha ng kanilang medical records. Okay, yes. You can have it uh, on Express. No? Itawag nyo na po sa ating medical, uh, labor medical records. They will have it prepared for you. You can pay it online and have it just pick up dito sa Adventist Med. So, madaling madali na. Okay. Many of you already know that Adventist Medical Center Manila, our hospital, has a sister institution here, Manila Adventist College. Yes. So, our enrollment is already open for the coming first semester. Senior high school with STEM and ABM. College. We have accountancy, business courses in marketing and finance. We have nursing, radiologic technology, we have physical therapy. Uh, I mentioned nursing uh, already. Yes. And of course, we have law or uh, Juris Doctor, our postgraduate for all good. of you. So please enroll right now. You can enroll anywhere. Kasi yan po ay nasa portal na. Yes. Pwede na. Hindi na kayo kailangan okay. maghintay para less stress yeah. bago magpasokan. And for me naman, like, uh, I'm not the only dermatologist here. Yes. I think we're four dermatologists mm -hmm. in the hospital. So, uh, you can search on the website of, uh, and then you can choose who you want mm -hmm. to, to be your dermatologist. And maybe some of the younger ones are doing the <laughs> telemedicine but for me with me it's more on a by appointment basis all okay. right thank you very much thank you once so again, much Dr. thank Philip. you i have learned a, nice a lot yeah. okay i um, hope so okay i know now how to take care of myself even better especially when i'm out in the sun okay oh, which okay. is very important okay kasi sabi nga ni Doc kanina di ba Habang mas bata, mas mabuti. Yes, you start na, young, mm -hmm. actually, taking care of your skin. Okay. okay, and COVID is not an excuse para hindi natin mapangalagaan ng ating mga sarili, skin. Yes. ang ating okay. skin. Okay, with that, we thank all of you for watching. We thank you for sharing. Let me end by giving you uh, this Bible verse. Uh, it can be found in Psalm 34. Verse 4, Psalm 34, verse 4, I sought the Lord and He answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. So, Doc Philip mentioned a while ago na talagang stress has a very big impact. Stress, anxiety has a very big yeah. impact on our skin. So, let's seek the Lord and trust Him even more, especially as we experience this pandemic. Then you have a more mm -hmm. peaceful and serene uh, attitude towards it. Yes. yes, and our positive outlook in life yeah. is very, very important nowadays. And it will impact our skin also. Okay, our body. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, thank you all for watching. Thank you for sharing. Um, Doc, thank let, you us, also. let us end this in, in prayer. Okay. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we give to you all our fears and all our worries. We know that you want us to have a peace of mind 
as we experience, even as we experience this COVID-19 pandemic, be with our viewers, Lord, may you provide for them all their needs. Allow them to experience your goodness, your mercy, and your grace as we wait for your soon return. We lift up to you, Dr. Philip Bunyag, as he continues to share his expertise and take care of our patients here at Adventist Med and his other clinics. Thank you very much for being with us today. All these things we pray and trust in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, would you like to say anything to no, our it's viewers? Okay. So try to consult your dermatologist. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're, we're at your service. Okay. Okay, so thank you all. Don't forget to take care of your health. Be safe, be healthy. And as you take care of your skin, do not forget that lifestyle is medicine. Bye. Oh, bye.